and introducing his opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to BCD Sympathy for the Devil. It's time for our second matchup of the evening, an international singles match. You might have already noticed that one Fergal Alexander is in ring and he awaits this man representing CTW in Portugal. The Red Eagle flies high as he lands once again here in pool at the Parkstone Trades and Labour Club at Behind Closed Doors Professional Wrestling. Red Eagle, one of the most exciting, one of the most technically sound wrestlers in the world. What a privilege to have him here at BCD for Sympathy for the Devil. But for all that prowess, for all that incredible athleticism, that incredible honour, and that professionalism that comes with being one of the best professional wrestlers to ever come out of Portugal, we also have to make note of the dangerous level of Virgil Alexander and of course his young protege of sorts who seems to be a ringside with him, a young man by the name of Abru who looks to be quite nefarious in every sense but ladies and gentlemen Red Eagle is where it is at. Welcome back to Dorset Red Eagle. Virgil Alexander, of course, alongside his young oh, protege, oh, oh, Abru. Virgil Alexander's, oh, I mean, there's no need for that, he's there. Just got in the ring and he spat all over Red Eagle and then he bailed out like a prize coward. for the Red Eagle. Well, yes indeed, ladies and gentlemen, international singles action here in the Parkstow Traitor Labour Club. It's Fergal Alexander from Glasgow, Scotland against Portugal's own Red Eagle representing CTW. Now, Fergal Alexander has made it very clear from the get-go he has no respect for anyone here. In Frank, yeah, he's the only thing he's uh, better than when it comes to wrestling is running his mouth, ladies and gentlemen. And oh, look at that! Red Eagle is very aware, a very wily veteran, but he's going to have to have eyes in the back of his mask because Abru, the young charge. The Fergal Alexander is on the outside, and no doubt he's not just there 
as a lucky charm as Fergal Alexander will have a size a weight advantage of course 260 240 to 260 I mean depends on who you ask I guess but his opponent Red Eagle 75 kilos obviously will have a technical and agility advantage you would think and, um, I mean Fergal Alexander certainly has a posterior advantage by the looks of it and you know he seems to be far more interested in George Jackson with the audience here than he does with Red Eagle and he should concern himself a little bit more with the technical wizard that is Red Eagle because ultimately he is one of the best professional wrestlers in Europe. Now Fergal Alexander not exactly, well I mean maybe, he's getting, maybe he is getting paid by the hour because ultimately he's taking his sweet time and now a collar and elbow tire to begin this international singles contest. The Red Eagle uses his leverage there to back Fergal into the corner. And referee Paul Field is going to have a field day, no pun intended, dealing with these two individuals. And there's quite a bit of aggression between. Oh, and just a disrespectful slap across the face. There's no need for that. There's only so long you can take cover within the professional wrestling ropes. Not entirely sure. Not entirely sure what this vermin of sorts in our brew is going to bring to the table. He must pay dividends because ultimately Fergal Alexander would have brought him to ringside otherwise. A man who is extremely picky about who he wants to associate with in a professional wrestling business. He picks the leg nicely and Red Eagle escapes and immediately once again Fergal Alexander trying to create separation. And as much as it's infuriating, it is very intelligent. You do not want to allow Red Eagle to pick up the pace because that's something he will do. And if he gets a hold, if he applies his technical prowess to this matchup, Vogel Alexander is going to be in extremely bad circumstances. And that's why he's using the rope brakes liberally. Go behind, and there's the power advantage. Just dropping Red Eagle down his face. A little slap on the back of the head again. Again, lack of respect, but you see how quickly he escapes into a hammerlock control there. Red Eagle truly is a man who can find room inside a phone box, and now he has control of Fergal Alexander with a hammerlock, and Fergal finding it very difficult just getting to his feet, much less escaping. A headlock applied by Red Eagle, and there's the young charger, bro, as uh, Red Eagle gets thrown into the corner and again escapes over the top. Picks the leg beautifully and sweeps out the other leg. A little bit of martial arts pedigree there. And, oh, and Fergal Alexander's fine. I've darkly missed the elbow. And now Red Eagle lining him up for a beautiful arm drag. Maintains control. Going straight to the wrist and the smoothness, the ease at which Red Eagle applies these moves, beggars belief, but ladies and gentlemen it takes decades of training decades of experience to be able to apply manoeuvres like that with the ease at which Red Eagle makes it look and Fergal Alexander once again is escaping to an audience that frankly wants nothing to do with him Red Eagle considers himself a purist, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. He wants to keep it in the ring. He wants to make this a pure wrestling contest. And uh, Fergal Alexander now uh, perhaps looking to uh, maybe pick up a few numbers from some of these lovely young women in the audience. I mean, normally I wouldn't take a man to task for such behavior, but this is a professional wrestling matchup here at Behind Closed Doors, and he would do very well to pay attention. No idea why he's... Having a word with referee Paul Field at this point, and Red Eagle. I don't think Red Eagle was uh, expecting, as he takes a little bit of a rest right there. Nice little pose from Red Eagle, but ultimately Red Eagle came here to fight. He came here to wrestle. He came here to show people his talents and show off his abilities. And now he's he's had enough of waiting. He's going to go after Fergal Alexander on the outside and. I don't know what this young idiot seems to think he's doing as Fergal Alexander crashes into our barricade here at ringside. And now, oh, look out. You know what, young man? You want a piece of the action? How about you getting involved? He gets sent right into his, well, for lack of a better term, his daddy in wrestling right now, Fergal Alexander. Red Eagle comes in and catches both of them against the barrier. And a European uppercut. Red Eagle now into the cover. Referee Paul Field back inside the ring. Just 
A two count as Red Eagle looks to build out a steam and a beautiful elbow drop. Right across the point of the chest and a lovely leg drop to boot. And this is what it's all about. Beautiful rolling sent on as well from Red Eagle. Very, very few mistakes will ever be made when Red Eagle is in the ring. But for all our blush and for all our comedic nature, when it comes to Fergal Alexander, he does have one thing, and that is an incredible amount of ring acumen. This is a very dangerous, very cerebral wrestler, which is why Red Eagle, oh, Red Eagle, look at his fancy tornado DDT to finish it. This idiot wants to get a brew, causing a distraction, giving Fergal Alexander an opportunity to drag Red Eagle back down to the canvas by his mask. And I don't think Fergal Alexander, as he drives his coccyx into the back of Red Eagle, I don't think he ultimately gives a damn how he gets an advantage as long as he gets it. Now, just pulling away that mask, and ultimately, ladies and gentlemen, any luchador will be able to tell you when you are wearing a mask like that, that any kind of talk, any kind of maneuver could potentially damage your ability to see him. Now, this young idiot, once again, getting involved... Looking to desperately make a name for himself and show off to his leader in charge, Fergal Alexander. Once again, he's gouging away at that mask of Red Eagle. Now, oh, once again, come on. Ultimately, I understand exactly what this idiot's doing, but, you know, referee Paul Field, unfortunately, being distracted right now by Fergal Alexander, and that's what he said. Ring acumen. He does have a high IQ. He does seem to know what he's doing, and now a huge scoop slam. Oh, my God. Red Eagle was in the rafters. Again, the lack of respect. This is something that Fergal Alexander has created an entire career upon a complete lack of respect for his opponents. And now Red Eagle catches him coming in with a beautiful standing dropkick. Met him halfway coming off a threat's rope. And now will Red Eagle be able to build some momentum as the sold out Parkstone Trades and Labour Club comes to life in favour of CTW Portugal's own Red Eagle. Fogo Alexander looks to be up and ready and looking for a striker now. This is Red Eagle's MO. Speed, technique, ability. He's going to need all of that. A beautiful spinning back kick. Take Fogo Alexander off of his feet. Hard. Very smart. Very, very smart. Rolling to the outside knowing that he cannot afford a pinning predicament. The Red Eagle ultimately doesn't look like he's faced by that. He's going to build up a head of steam here and a suicide dive wipes out Fergal Alexander. Oh boy, and now he's had enough of that young man as well. And a brute gets one too, straight across the barrier. And now Red Eagle on the apron goes for the... Oh wow, I think he was looking for a tornado DDT on the floor. And Fergal Alexander just drives Red Eagle's spine into that ring post. There is no give. There's nowhere to go there. There's nothing fancy about that. Oh my God, it just... Picks him up and hangs him up across the guardrail. And this is what we spoke about at the beginning of this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Fergal Alexander, with an extreme height and weight advantage, has made it count here in the later portion of this matchup. This crowd trying to rise Portugal's own from the doldrums back into the ring so he can beat the 10 count. And at seven, he's on the apron. An eight count for referee Paulfield. Oh my god, and a stiff right hand. And referee Paulfield would do well to keep an eye on that. That was an illegal closed fist, ladies and gentlemen. And this is not a predicament that Red Eagle wants to be in right now. Currently, flat on his back with the referee counting to ten. Already up to a five count. Red Eagle barely stirring at this point. Six and... Oh, referee Paul Field, and now Red Eagle coming too, and he needs to get back in the ring, and again he breaks the count, and you know what, Fergal Alexander, I didn't expect nothing, that's, oh my god, a flying big boot, fair play, that is an impressive piece of agility from Fergal Alexander, but Red Eagle is able to escape again, 
as you saw, Fergal Alexander not above taking a count out victory in an international singles contest. Fergal Alexander, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, extremely talented, extremely intelligent, doesn't need to cut corners, but unfortunately seems to be obsessed with doing just that. An easy payday. Now, now this idiot, once again, getting involved. And at some point, you've got to think somebody is going to have to deal with this nonsense. And unfortunately, it won't be referee Paul Field as this young man of brew is taking the boots to Red Eagle on a European up go as well. Referee Paul Field is none the wiser at the moment and this is essentially a handicap match and that suits Fergal Alexander right down to the ground. Now Fergal Alexander now getting himself into a cover, into a pity position and wow I tell you what Paul Field's hand was almost down for a free there but once again Red Eagle showing his passion for this sport able to escape before the free count. Red Eagle able to pull the brakes there with the Irish whip attempt to once again focus on Alexander. Oh wow, going low there. Looking to use that bulk, that power of Varnish. But Red Eagle able to beautifully count the Irish whip into a drop toe hold. And now looking to apply a fantastic Mahistral cradle. Just wraps him up and quicker than a hiccup is Red Eagle and a beautiful go behind. Looking to employ a backslide here of sorts. And Fergal Alexander trying to put on the brakes using that weight and all that leverage is counting and once again a two count off the backside and Fergal Alexander rather prematurely proclaiming that Red Eagle is dead. I don't think that's the case as he floats over beautifully. Wastelot go behind rolls him right through in the beautiful bridging combination and Red Eagle almost, almost had the better of Virgo Alexander. You think about how many people he's dispatched with that. Now looking to build from the second rope. And despite that Luchagor pedigree, and once again, this young idiot. And oh, yeah, he gets a right hand. He deserves it, frankly. The kid's a moron, frankly. And here we go as he comes off a. Oh, man. And Virgo Alexander just plucked him out of midair. And look at the strength there. And a TKO. Beautiful. Beautiful technique, and that's what we were talking about. For all his bluster, for all his corner cutting, Virgo Alexander has the tools, and is that going to be enough? And oh my god, and Red Eagle just barely getting his shoulder off the canvas. An incredible TKO delivered with devastation by Virgo Alexander, but this contest continues, and once again, this idiot, this parasite is up on the ring apron. The referee Paul Field should be admonishing him. He should be doing more to deal with this. And he looks like he's going to... Oh, a malfunction at a junction. Serves you bloody right, sunshine. And a code breaker from Red Eagle. Booting up a head of steam and a halluva kick catches him. I don't think he got all of that, to be honest. I think he was looking for a connection, but enough to... Maybe set up that beautiful Tornado DDT. Is that going to be enough? And yes, it is. Red Eagle captures a huge dub here at BCD. Courtesy of the Tornado DDT. And he can head back to CTW in Portugal with a win. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Red Eagle. What a privilege to have CTW's own Red Eagle here in behind closed doors professional wrestling sympathy for the devil indeed and this incredible young man who still has so much more in the tank put on a hell of a performance dispatching Virgil Alexander